We're in northeastern Nebraska, just across the river, across the Missouri River from uh, Yankton, South Dakota. And this was a place uh, below the cliff here, is a place where Lewis and Clark spent four nights actually, on, beginning on August the 27th of 1804, on their way west when they landed and started camping here. And they stayed here for four days, and during that time they met with a Yankton Sioux and in fact had left, uh, they, when they left here, uh, they left one of their members to uh, gather the chiefs and try to make peace with one another. The old river, the old Missouri River, actually ran down where you see this artificial dike between the lake across on the other side of the dike and the river that is now on this side of the dike. So that's the route pretty much of the old river they're not sure exactly where Lewis and Clark camped here, but they think it was below this area called the Cal Calumet Bluffs, uh, named by Lewis and Clark. Calumet was an Indian word for uh, pipe, I believe. This is now near a dam called the Gavin's Point Dam that they built in the early 1950s, from 1952 to 1957. And we're looking north now toward Yankton, and that is Lake Yankton. And now... We're moving that. west, and you'll see the Gavin's Point Dam, and you'll see uh, the lake behind it. There are hundreds and hundreds of campsites here. We're at a Corps of Engineers and National Park Service Visitor Center that sits on the Calumet Bluffs that overlooks the river. This is a pretty day, a little humid, a little warm here, but uh, it's, it's uh, really a, a pretty view from the visitor center here. Again, we're in Nebraska, just north of Missouri River, northeastern portion of the state, just across from Yankton, South Dakota. And this lake is Lewis and Clark Lake above the dam.